good morning everyone. It's uh, early morning, it's uh, four o'clock. Uh, it's the middle of uh, May. Yesterday was the national day of uh, Norway. So I'm uh, guessing uh, some people are going to bed as I'm going <laughs> out to, to watch birds. That's the life for uh, bird watchers. The weather is uh, normal for uh, middle of May in Norway, so it's uh, 5 degrees. There's overcast and uh, a light, uh, light drizzle. So uh, nothing new there. Today I'm going out to uh, a really nice place. Uh, where I've spent uh, many mornings. I really like coming out here uh, before sunrise and have the sunrise and a cup of coffee and just uh, enjoy nature and the bird life as it wakes up. Uh, this place is actually the westernmost point of uh, this part of the shoreline that we have and uh, it was actually uh, the first uh, one of the first uh, stations for uh, ring tagging uh, birds uh, were put up here at the beach at that time it has uh, since been <laughs> since been moved uh, from the beach and, uh, and uh, a bit uh, further in so they uh, catch uh, birds on the on the beach with these small cages and then they have uh, nets uh, a bit further up uh, uh, on the beach not on the beach a bit further up <laughs> it's a uh, it's a fantastic place for uh, for birds it's uh, famous for birds um, and I've seen so many birds here and birds of prey attacking uh, the waders and uh, yeah, just about uh, every every uh, waterfowl uh, and duck and uh, everything you can imagine is here. So I'm uh, I'm hoping uh, this will be a good day. It was uh, really windy uh, yesterday, so uh, let's uh, let's see how uh, how that uh, impacts. Uh, today. So it's a bit difficult to place myself on this beach. Uh, the sand dunes are, are pretty close to the to the water and, um, and um, you don't want to be too close to the birds of course to, the, to disturb them or scare them. So, um, so I'll, uh, I'll have to find a place uh, that's uh, suitable. Of course I'll be in uh, camouflage and I'll be very still and, and, uh, and quiet. The beach is uh, at this point is changing uh, all the time. As I said it's, uh, it's a westernmost point that we have so it's it's very uh, uh, prone to, to changes because of, of uh, weather and waves and, and all this. Uh, so it's, uh, it's never the same. <laughs> I come here and uh, I'll just have to, to see what I can uh, find today. So just uh, just walking down here is is an experience. So many birds around. A couple of ducks uh, flew up. And it's really calm. Off of that airplane.
now it's quite different here again looks like uh, things really happened here yesterday when there was uh, all that wind Just fantastic, what a place. So there's two, these two, uh, whatever they're called, taken out and, uh, in the ocean. And uh, of course there's a the water in between. And the thing is here that all the seaweed, seagrass uh, is pushed in and pushed on shore and then uh, it uh, lays on the beach and rots and then you have these flies that uh, lay their eggs and hatch at, uh, or in this uh, seaweed and, uh, and all the birds uh, feed on those so that's the reason why there's uh, such a good bird life here look at this So now I'm ready here. I tried to be as uh, quick and silent as I, I was able to, so don't uh, so I didn't uh, disturb any uh, any of the birds. There are hmm. need to identify that one. That's another one so many birds there but there are three uh, three uh, ida players uh, I don't know 25 meters from me and uh, it doesn't appear that they uh, minded me so hopefully I didn't disturb any any of the birds here I was quick I was silent so hopefully that was uh, okay and I'm not too close to the to the water. I'm uh, I'm uh, a bit far from it, and uh, so that I, that I don't uh, disturb any wildlife here. But this is such a beautiful place. It's just perfect. It's a bit smelly uh, because of the rotting uh, seaweed. I'm really looking forward to the day progressing to get some more lights to see what's uh, hiding out here that I can hear but I can't see yet and uh, while I'm waiting I'm gonna have some coffee it's a beautiful day there's, there's not even a, a there's no wind at all it's totally calm really beautiful day and the Sun is going coming up behind us now in uh, around now actually <laughs>
so amazing. I just had two two big hairs and uh, one of them was not even five meters from here. Just here. <laughs> it was too far for me to turn over to, to have a good picture but uh, I think I got them on, uh, on film so they're so big surprisingly big Just here. Five, six, seven meters from it. A lot of stone turners. And the one that I can't remember the English name of. Ducks flying over all the time. Oyster catches. The either three pairs swimming out here now. It's been that uh, doing that uh, all morning. Ringed, great ringed plover over there. another one I can't remember the English name of and seagulls comrades crows ravens and that one now there are some birds approaching me from this side as well, so uh, I'll see if I can take some photos. What a morning, what a beautiful place.
so what a fantastic morning this has been. It got a bit cold now and uh, the wind picked up so I had to go get out of the out of the wind to to do this. But what a fantastic morning. So many birds, so many species and just uh, so many of them. I think I have some really nice footage. I think I, I hope I have some good pictures. But the experience coming here before five o'clock and uh, the weather was calm and just uh, been sitting there for five hours and uh, just a fantastic experience to to see the day come and and the light come and and everything and, and more and more birds are, have been coming so just fantastic so that's it I'm uh, I need to go home I need to fill up <laughs> with some coffee I drank it all and my feet are really cold <laughs> so but um, but uh, well worth it a fantastic morning so uh, remember guys get out and enjoy nature